You won't believe how many shoppers want to buy from you. They are ready, they have their card in their hand, but your store won't let them. It's either they are using an older device and your site doesn't work well for them, or their internet connection is slow and the loading process takes ages. After 10 years of Shopify experience, I can tell you that there are two main categories when it comes to speed optimization. The first is layout stability. That includes CLS, LCP. I have a number of videos on my channel about those. You can see one of them there or in the description of the video. And in the second place are apps. They need lots of assets from third-party servers and they create a lot of issues. But I know you need apps, you need to test things and that's completely fine. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can lazy load the scripts for those apps and make them load after the user start interacting with your store, this way alleviating a lot of the issues. As a disclaimer, the code snippets I'm gonna use in this video are available on my store. You can find the link in the description. You don't have to buy them from there, I just want you to see the concept and you can go ahead and create your own code even though the price for them is nothing compared with the improvement they will bring to your store. That being said, let's jump to the Shopify's dashboard. Okay, we have this store. This is a simple, fairly simple store that looks something like this. And this is the speed at the moment. So I ran one speed test a couple of minutes ago and I'm gonna run another one now so that you can see that the result is kind of the same. This is the second result. Here's the timestamp. As you can see, this store, even though it's fairly simple, so it's a dawn theme, it doesn't have a lot of customization, but even so, it gets a lot of issues and I can tell you that the issues are coming mainly from apps. But in order to fix these, you will have to understand how apps are added to your Shopify theme. There are a couple of ways. And the first one is by using something called the async function, which can be found on your theme. So if you have your store open like this and you go right click, then you go to inspect. Inside here, you will find the head tag, which is this one here. If you open that up, then you're gonna have to scroll down, look for this empty script tags. So it's gonna be something like this. So uh, you just have to open all this empty tags until you find something like this. I found it directly because I know it's usually lower like that. So you open that and you see these are all the links that will inject in your theme. So in this case, we have Trustpilot, which is injecting some scripts that will help with this widget and probably with other widgets that you have on your theme and so on. So you're gonna have most of your app scripts in here, but for many of these apps, you don't actually need to load them in the same time with your theme. Many of them uh, need to be added later on after the theme gets downloaded and re rendered for the user. And that's why I've created a script that delays the injection of all of this at once. So instead of having them load in the same time your theme loads, I've created a script that stops them from loading. Then it gives time for the theme to completely load. And then whenever the user starts using the theme, like a scroll, maybe a click, or something like that, like a human interaction, then all of these get injected in your theme. So that's how you avoid some of these errors that you get in this test over here. The script I'm talking about is on my store. Again, you don't have to buy it from here. You can go ahead and uh, create it yourself. If you know what you're doing, you can look at this async function. I just wanted you to see where all the apps get injected in your theme. Just look at this function and create something that will delay the injection of the scripts and you're good. Or you can use my script over here and I'm going to show you how that looks like. You're going to get a document like this and you're going to copy everything in here. Just copy like that and you are going to go to your theme. Then you're going to go to edit code. You're going to search for content for and you're gonna find this tag over here, content for header. So this tag over here is responsible with all of the scripts and with this function. All you have to do is go here, comment out this tag like that, then enter. And underneath here, you're gonna paste the code that you just copied from the document. Then you're gonna save. 
and now all of these scripts will be stopped from automatically injecting in the theme. The theme will fully load and then they will be injected whenever the customer will start interacting with your store. Whenever adding this script, you will have to wait a couple of minutes before retesting the speed. If you do it too fast, you're going to get a similar speed value, so you will have to wait like a couple of minutes and then you're going to hit analyze again and you're going to see the difference. Here is the new result. So to see if this works well, you will have to go to your theme, to the console here. You're going to refresh the page and whenever you enter with your mouse onto the page, you should see a message on the side like this. Shopioso scripts have loaded. And as you can see, the Trustpilot badge doesn't show until I enter with my mouse over the, the, the page. It only loads after I do that. And that's because the Trustpilot script is inside that function and that function is stopped from loading until human interaction. So I'm going to run the test again because this takes a little bit of time to actually propagate and I think this will go a little bit higher than this. Yeah, as I said, from the initially 37, 38, we are now at 48 or 50 sometimes. And that's a good result, but we still didn't uh, manage to fix some of the issues. Like if we look here, we have a lot of blocking time and that means that we still have some apps that are loading in the same time we are loading our theme. And that's kind of bad. We want to load the, the theme first and then we want to load the apps. And what I can see here is that we have already two apps that are in the way. Uh, we have this cookie banner. If I open that up, the cookie banner is loading in the same time as the theme does. And we have also this chatbot, which I think they could be uh, loaded a bit later. I, I, I don't think they need to be directly on screen. The cookie banner can open up whenever the customer starts using the site. So let's find this cookie banner app and see how we can lazy load that. Here on my theme.liquid, I found this script over here, which is responsible for that cookie banner. This is another way apps can be added to your theme. Just by adding one of the scripts, they can access your theme and they can display on your theme. Some apps do that. They will ask you to, to add a script like this on your theme.liquid. And this way they will add their functionality to your store. So in this case, how can we lazy load the script because this script has already a defer attribute but as we can see here we have the cookie banner on our theme rather quickly if I go to the CLS I see that the cookie banner is creating some CLS even though it's not much it is creating CLS problems and we don't want that for this case I have another product on my store that will lazy load that script for the cookie banner and will make this cookie banner show only after the user starts clicking scrolling and so on you will find the link in the description also on my store it's gonna look something like this so in order to stop the script from loading I'm going to comment it out and now the cookie banner will not show at all now what I want to do in order for the cookie banner to keep on working is to add here the code that I copied from that document, which you should have above the closing of the head tag here. So in order for this function to work, you will just have to give it links to lazy load. So if you have a script, for example, you can just copy the URL from there like that. You're going to copy that and then you're going to add it here. You're going to replace this add your script link here like that. And the function will take care of the rest. It will inject a script like this whenever the user will click, scroll, touch, start, mouse move, key down. So whenever the user will do any of these, a script with this URL will be generated on your theme and then the app will start working. Let me show you how that looks like. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to go back to my store and I'm going to refresh the page. So you see, if I don't go with the mouse on the page, the cookie banner will not show. But once I go with the mouse over the page, I'm going to see the cookie banner here. And in order to check if the script works well, you're going to inspect the page and you're going to go to console. You're going to refresh the page. And as you can see, the cookie banner is not there. Now, if I go with the mouse over, you're going to see the cookie banner there. 
and you're gonna see also this console Shopioso custom interaction script style load. After adding this script, we should see an increase in the page speed. So now we are at around 48, 50, 47 maybe. Let's see the difference now. We are now at 50, but you see that there is no CLS anymore. I'm gonna try it again to see if anything changes. I think it's gonna improve. And yeah, it did improve. We are now at 57, which is much, much better than it was before. But what I can see here is another app that can wait until the user starts interacting with the page in order for it to display. And I'm talking about this chatbot widget. If I go to the page and I refresh the page, I see that the chatbot shows immediately and we don't actually need it immediately. As the cookie banner, it can show after the user starts using the page, like scrolling down or doing any action on the page. So I'm gonna do the same thing I've done with the cookie banner, but I have to find the URLs for this widget over here. And to do that, I'm gonna show you another way apps are added to our stores. And that is through the customize dashboard. And if you go to app embeds here, you're gonna see the app I'm talking about and is this one over here. Whenever we're gonna toggle this off, the app will be disabled. So if I do that, the page will refresh and there will be no chatbot anymore, no matter what. And if I toggle it on, it's gonna show there. How does this actually work? So when you toggle this on, actually Shopify will add the scripts needed for this app to work to your theme, but they are not in the async function. So they will be injected directly in the head of your store. If you toggle it off, those scripts will not be added and the app will be disabled. And in order for us to lazy load the scripts for this app, we will actually have to disable it from here and inject the scripts it needs with the help of the function we just added to our theme.liquid. Only this time we will have to find what scripts is this app using. So in order to find the scripts, we will have to leave the toggle on for now and go to our store, refresh the page, go to elements, and then inside here, you're going to search for van chat. In your case, you're gonna look for your app, but in my case, I'm looking for van chat because that's my chatbot. And I can see that I have these two elements, one JS and one CSS file, which are responsible for displaying that chatbot. So what I actually have to do is come here, right click on this, edit as HTML and copy the link for this script. I'm gonna copy it. Then I'm gonna go back to my theme. And in here, as I added the other script before, I just need to add a comma at the end. Then I'm going to paste the link inside like that. And because this app also needs a CSS file, I'm gonna go back in there and I'm gonna look for the CSS file, which is underneath. I'm gonna click right, and then I'm going to edit as HTML. I'm gonna copy the link for this too. And now I'm gonna go back to my theme and you have here a CSS area. This is just for scripts and this is for CSS. And you're going to replace this line there and you're gonna paste the CSS URL there. And then you're gonna save. At this moment, the scripts are injected by this function, but we will have to go back and disable the app from here. And we're going to save that. And now if I go to the page and I refresh the page, I see that the, the chatbot is not showing anymore. And once I go with my mouse over the page, the chatbot will show underneath as normal. I think this is better because it gives time for the theme to load and then whenever that's done and the user actually starts using the store, the other functionality can kick in and that solves a lot of the issues that the speed test has. Let's test that again. So we were at 57. Let's see where we are now with this change. So here's the result now after this change. As you can see, a lot of the blocking time is gone. We were at 10,000, I think, before. And we are now at 65%. Let me run it again to see if it's consistent. Yeah, we are over 60, and I think this is a good progress. 
of course a good practice is to test the apps after you lazy load them so you're gonna go and test the functionality of the app that you've just lazy loaded and see that everything's working well and if it does then you have sped up your store you can go and scan your theme.liquid file and find scripts that can be lazy loaded for example in this case here I found another app that I can lazy load and further speed up the store you might have apps like this as well if they are not on the theme.liquid then you can go to your customized dashboard and see here apps that are injecting in your theme you will probably know what the apps are doing if you see the apps toggled on and you know their functionality you can decide for yourself if that app actually needs to be directly on the screen if the app doesn't need to be directly on the screen you can go ahead and search for the script for that app then include it in the lazy loading function turn the app off from here and then the app will be lazy loaded another thing I wanted to say is that LCP and CLS these two over here are actually very important if you want to know how to fix these issues a video will pop on the screen click on that watch it and I'll see you there